way to play with paper and I hope you're having a great day. Now I want to apologize. I have not done a video in a few days. I had some medical issues going on and I had to take care of some things. I know you guys understand um, it's very rare that I don't post on a daily basis and or at least only skip one day here or there um, but I just had to take some me time. With that said, I'm so glad to be back and I hope you are having so much fun on Ginger's Corner and on the swaps. Um, because of some of those things I was dealing with, I know on the Facebook group it has been a few typos here and there and I have missed a couple things, but I am feeling much better now and I should be all caught up very soon. I appreciate, I already know what's going to happen. I appreciate your guys' understanding. I appreciate you being gracious and I appreciate all your well wishes, but I am, I'm doing much better now. So I hope you're having a beautiful spring day. I am going to talk about the die cut swap. I did a live a couple days ago when I was feeling a little bit better and we had lots of fun. We did a surprise giveaway for my birthday and we talked about the die cut swaps then, but I wanted to show an example. A die cut swap, I do still use all of my scraps to create things, but I don't always do a video because it's just die cuts. It's meant to be really quick and simple, but I thought I would pop on and just go over things again. The die cut swap is a partner swap. So you only have to create 10 things of the theme and you get all of that information when you sign up. You get a captain who helps monitor your message group. So we make sure everyone gets a swap because um, life happens even for me. I mean, I just had a few days where I had to take a step back and take care of some personal issues. So definitely have to do that sometimes. And so with your captains and your chats, just let them know, be communicative with them and um, they will help you out. They are all ready to step in if need be and life gets in the way. Honestly, don't ever feel bad. It is not that kind of group. It's truly not. All right, so let me show you what I made my partners because I ended up with four partners, so I'm pretty excited. I did um, examples of each thing that is allowed. Now, during the live, I talked about you need to do simple die cuts and you are allowed to do stamped items that are also die cut, so a set. And I'm gonna go over that here in just a minute. Um, this month's theme was spring, so you could do anything spring. Butterflies, flowers, birds, birdhouses, fences, you name it. You could do anything that makes you think of spring. We try to be as um, general as possible because it is 10 things, and it's not like our regular swaps, right? Usually we can make one thing because we know it's going to be spread out. You have a partner, so you need to make different things. So I like to do it in sets, and I'm going to show you that. This first one here, I have some flower doilies. Now, please be patient with me. I am trying to be better about showing you where I get all the products that I use. These, I do not know where I got them. I think that I got them, some of them at Global Land, and I think I got some of them on Amazon. I will tell you, just um, look up on Amazon or Globe Land or your favorite die cutting place where you like to buy die cuts, spell binders, whatever, and put in doily and or flowers doilies and these type of dies will come up. I hope that helps. So what I did is I took paper that I like. This one's purple. Let's see, I did, I did pink. I had scraps. So my partners are all going to get different ones. Okay. There was one there. Um, here's another. These are all scraps. I use my scraps. You guys know that. So I created a set um, to do. Now this, this guy here is actually two separate ones. It makes this one and then it makes this one. And aren't those just pretty? So my partners will each get a set of these um, doily flower dies because that's what they remind me of is florals and we all need those right now I count this as two technically it's five right um because I have an extra one on here because I did had a little bitty piece of purple left but each of my partners got five okay and to be fair I'll only put five in here I'll keep this one as an extra okay so and then reuse your packaging this is an old stamps of life um package from when I get things and we all buy products, Dollar Tree products, 
reuse this packaging. And I'm gonna go over how I can get away with using one or two stamps to mail and still use this type of packaging. It, we don't wanna washi tape these because this would tear if I washi taped it. It's delicate and it's fine. And then the washi tape sticks and likes to tear the paper even though it's not supposed to, right? And so I just put it in here. It'll keep it totally flat. When you use packaging like this, okay, make sure that you take your scissors or something. And have you ever noticed when you get certain products, they have a hole in the packaging? Well, you know why? That's because it lets the air escape and this isn't poofy and doesn't add bulk. That's why. All right, so that is one of the things I sent my partners. Like I said, I like to do sets. It just kind of works better for me. This here is a set, again, I believe I got from Globeland. And this is the set. This is what it's supposed to look like. Now, I didn't have enough green to do the leaves, but I figure a person could do their own leaves. And I created these dies. Now, this must be a quick, quick one, right? And when, oops, I'm sorry. And when you collect, are you, um, I'm throwing things over here. <laughs> you know, I'm back. <laughs> so, um, when you cut out dies, I don't want to sit here. This is meant to be quick and easy. Now, I will not glue these together. And I have parts. That's why I have it in a baggie. All right. Now, I could count the bees as one, the tree branch as one, I could count the bee happy as one, and this, I don't do that. I count this as two, eh, maybe three. Um, I don't count each one. Now that's me personally. That doesn't mean that you have to do it that way. This is how I like to do it, and there's no wrong way. Now I give <clears throat> my partners all these parts, and then they can glue this together, right? Because it's backed, so they can glue this together. I do take the time to punch out all the little details so they don't have to do that part. I have glittered the wings. I don't know if you can tell, or the bodies, pardon me. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Definitely back. <laughs> and then here's the wings. So then they would glue the wings on here and make themselves some bees, right? I make sure I give them enough for each one and everything went in this packet. And then this, you guys, let me tell you, okay? Let me tell you, I'm so excited. Like, I'm all about using scraps, right? But I went to the next level. So I have found these new envelopes that I like to use for my mini swap um, envelopes because everything was coming to me torn, so I wanted heavier duty. Now, I get these on Amazon. I've tested a few different envelopes. They are like super thin cardboard, almost like your macaroni and cheese boxes, your granola bar boxes, right? So they are working really well and they are so intact. When I get them, I am just um, not using this part, but I flipped it over and all of my tree branches are out of this envelope. I'm using my scraps and I am going to keep these because it is a good quality paper. If you guys are having that kind of problems with your mailing, I'll put the link below um, so that you can find the stuff I like to mail with because I've been doing this going on three years now swapping and I have a few favorite products. So that's just for you if you want to do that. So. Every one of my partners will get this, and this is an example of, it is die cuts, it is a set. I don't wanna take the time to put them together because it's just supposed to be quick and easy, but I'm gonna give my partner everything in a baggie so it's all together and they can just have fun and play. And I use the B side to put the doilies in. Okay, so the, all my partners will get one of those. Then I wanna go over um, just simple die cuts. No fuss, no overthinking, just like the doilies. Actually, let me get another piece of paper. I'm sorry. Oh, we can use the back of my mixed media. <laughs> mixed media one, right? So here are some butterflies. Just simple. Now I could cut, count these as um, five or I could count them as one or two. I mean, technically there are five butterflies and that's okay, but I like to do sets again. Then I just took these, I am obsessed with little envelopes right now. I think it's the journaling project, I don't know. Um, these are fun and I found them pretty cheap on Amazon. Um, those I'll put the link below as well. And I just put these in here so they stay together. I use scraps. Um, these are like a teal. Some of my partners got some light blue. Um, I just used whatever I had, to be honest. 
That's why I never have that many scraps because I use them, okay? So then you will be able to take this. We wanna keep this flat, right? First, I would cut this off. We don't need any extra that we don't need. I'm gonna show you, this is how I will mail to my partner. Oh, these scissors are horrible. Horrible, horrible. Pretty sure my daughter took my fussy cutting scissors. Her and I gonna have to live a little chit chat. <laughs> okay, so then I would washi tape this, this envelope to here and keep it flat. All right, so let me show you how I do that. Just really quick. Oh, look, we'll use a pretty glitter. Why not? Okay, so that's, we're, we're here. I'm at, even if I count this as two, even though we're at five, four, six, right? Okay, so then there's that. And <clears throat> I used just random butterfly ones. Guys, we all get sets that have butterflies. I've gone through dyes and any butterflies that are my favorite, that I enjoy die cutting, I have um, just in one spot for me on my sleeve and my magnet sheet. I, it's because I'm always needing butterflies, right? They're like flowers and hearts. We just always use them. So these are just random. They're from um, Tim Holtz. They're from Sizzix. They're from all different places. Echo Park dies. I've gotten, I think this is actually a Spellbinders die. Like, I don't remember. I have them from everywhere. Probably not because Spellbinders is always that rose gold, but still, okay? So there's that. Then I wanted to do an example of a stamp and die cut set. Okay, so this is a Stamps of Life set that I have, okay? And I've had it for a while. And what I have done is taken white scraps, here's another envelope, right? And I have stamped it on the front and made, colored it in. And then inside here, whoops, come on. Inside here, they have some large ones, you notice they're stamped clear, right? We don't want smudges or faded. Um, and I have given them five, three little ones and two big ones. This I love, okay? And the reason this is allowed in the die cut swap is because technically it's a die, right? That we cut it out with. But sometimes some of the themes are hard to just have die cuts, at least they are for me. So this is what I mean by a stamped image that you then die cut out, okay? My partner can color these to whatever color they want that they're using, and I just put them in this little envelope. I did make it a little fun, stamped what was inside of here, and I will washi tape this again, just like so, to my envelope, all right? So, you figure I got five flowers, I've got five butterflies. Uh, this has at least five parts, but we're only gonna count it as two. And I've got five doilies. I only need to create 10. While technically, if I count them as groups, it's four, but there's more than 10 die cuts here, right? So, then I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna use a six by nine envelope. It's gonna be flat enough that I can get away with one stamp. Now. I'm saying it's flat. That's why you get away with this. And I'd address it to my partner and maybe stamp or do something fun on the envelope. Most of the time I don't have time for that. I used to. Um, <clears throat> but um, that is how I mail my dead cuts. That's the kind of things that are allowed. I wanted to go over that. I wanted you to feel, um, <clears throat> see a visual. Because I'm a visual learner. I like to see things so I understand it. I, again, I'm sorry I haven't been around for the last couple days, but you're stuck with me. You're never getting rid of me. <laughs> you're just not. So I am so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to be back later today with my collections obsession layout. Um, if not, definitely tomorrow because I am doing a little yard work before it gets, you know, scorching hot here in West Texas. And with that, I hope you have a blessed day. Come join Ginger's Corner. Be part of our swaps. We have many different kinds, memory decks. The card swap is coming up because we only do that quarterly. I have a special swap coming up on Tuesday that I am so excited for. It's just called special swap on the calendar. We have ways to organize. It's just, it's a great time. And beyond that, you don't have to swap to join Ginger's Corner. Come over and just make friends. We are all wonderful friends. I consider all of you family. And I will see you soon. Be blessed. Bye-bye.